everyone, so when I posted my 50 random facts tag, I talked a little bit about eczema and I had gotten a couple of comments and I've gotten a couple of questions and I am no doctor, I am no expert, I am just someone who had severe, severe, severe eczema when I was young. I still have really sensitive skin. Um, my kids have sensitive skin, well two of my kids have really sensitive skin. My sister had eczema, so I just wanted to share with you maybe some tips that can alleviate it, maybe even just a little bit. Um, and hopefully this will be helpful to you. As most of you know, eczema, there's like no known cause for it. Um, I think it's just kind of one of those things that you either have or you don't have. But I definitely think that there are things that can help it a little bit, um, at least temporarily. Um, and I think that there's, of course, different degrees of eczema. Um, the number one thing is like talk to your doctor and see what they say about it. I have been on prescription creams, the ones that look like milky creams, the ones that look like petroleum jelly. Um, like steroid creams and stuff like that. So this is kind of more stuff like maybe just like everyday tips to help alleviate a little bit of that discomfort. And if you have eczema or just even just super dry, irritated skin, hopefully some of these points will help you. So I actually wrote a list of stuff so I wouldn't forget. I'm going to go through a couple of things that will make it worse. At least for me, this is things that um, made it worse for me a lot. Uh, one of them is fabrics. I am very, very, very sensitive to certain fabrics. Anything with mohair, um, like rabbit hair, wool. Oh my gosh, I can't even brush by wool without my skin flaring up. And anything like too tight or unbreathable really makes it a lot worse. Uh, heat will make it worse. Um, a lot of times if you're in a very hot, humid climate, it it probably mixes a little bit with heat rash, which makes it worse. Um, detergents can make it flare up. I use like the all free and clear and I don't use anything scented at all. Um, now that my eczema has gotten so much better, I can use certain scented lotions, but even that I have to be pretty um, careful about and even makeup I have to be careful about. Heat and moisture can make it worse and also dryness can make it worse. So um, a couple of things with that because basically what eczema is, it's like super dry skin that's inflamed so it's really super, super itchy. So you kind of want to get control of the dryness and you want to get control of the itchiness. One really good tip for you or your kids is don't take a lot of hot showers. I used to take showers where I would turn the knob hotter, hotter, hotter till it was like all hot and it would just be so soothing to my skin that I would stay in there forever and my doctor said you need to stop taking hot showers because that hot shower makes your skin really dry so he said don't take super long hot showers don't shower every day because you want your oils to come from your skin and your skin not to be dried out from the surface in um, don't take hot baths or like soak in like perfumey like bubble bath or anything like that so for your kids like shorter lukewarm baths and if you have eczema like in your scalp um, which would also cause you know super dry scalp you know use something like head and shoulders or salsen blue or something like that um so some tips would be obviously take shorter showers um, lukewarm don't shower every day um, wear looser fabrics even underwear like if you get eczema like around your waistline like where your pants would go make sure that you wear breathable underwear like not like the yoga type underwear but like cotton um, if you do get around your waistband make sure you're not wearing like super tight like thick jeans or something where your skin can't breathe you want to wear like looser fabrics and after you take a shower you want to let yourself air dry so letting that water just kind of soak into your skin really really helps and I think that a lot of times we want to like dry off real quick and slop on the lotion but actually allowing your skin to sink in some of that moisture is really helpful when you're in the shower or a bath you do want to exfoliate when you're in the shower or bath because you do want to remove some of that dry skin but it's kind of tricky because you want to exfoliate but you don't want to exfoliate too much and irritate that inflamed skin so um, like I use a little exfoliating cloth like that I got at the Korean market um, I do think some of the exfoliating scrubs might be too much because it'll feel good while you're in the shower because it's like uh, it's like scratching that scratch but then when you get out it's gonna be more inflamed and more irritated 
and when you do get out of the shower if you do have inflamed red areas that are super itchy um, put some witch hazel on it and the witch hazel actually reduces some of that inflammation and then once that dries you can put your cream or lotion on top something that does bring a little bit of relief to is putting cold on it like having cold ice packs or the gel packs at least temporarily it makes it feel a little bit better now there are some creams and stuff that you can get I know that I mentioned that I got some from my doctor before there are a lot of over-the-counter products that you can try and of course it's going to be different for every person like I know that a lot of the oatmeal creams and stuff like that makes my skin feel kind of stuffy and a little bit more itchy if that makes any sense um for my daughter i did get the aveeno baby eczema therapy and this does have the collodial oatmeal um and it relieves dry itchy irritated skin due to eczema steroid free fragrance fragrance free and it looks like this and basically it says the active ingredients are the collodial oatmeal and this i mainly put around the baby's um like mouth because like her nose will start peeling and she'll kind of get um, it around here and like kind of around her mouth so that's what I use for her and then after doing that video too this company sent me some um, lotion and stuff it's called Exiderm ultra sensitive skin care it's for eczema or dermatitis um, and it's accepted by the National Eczema Association so I'll show you guys what this looks like close up so this is what it looks like close up so there is the daily lotion and then there's also a cream for flare-ups and I know that they have like a whole line of stuff I put some of this on myself uh, because I had some itchy areas like on my neck oh that's another thing I used to get so irritated by any sort of tag or anything so I would I mean now most stuff is tagless but for your kids I would like cut out all of those tags any kind of like lace um, anything that's not soft like I was so sensitive to lace a lot of the kids have those printed um, a lot of kids with the, some sort of graphic on their t-shirt a lot of times on the back there's like a white kind of cheesecloth thing that helps the stitching stay in a lot of times that irritates the baby too so anyways back to the exoderm I'm gonna read what it says on the back and it says gentle non irritating ultra hypoallergenic lotion specifically designed to rapidly and deeply moisturize your skin's dry and highly sensitive or delicate skin. It's color free, fragrance free, lanolin free, paraben free, SLS free, and flatulate free. Dry skin, especially associated with atopic eczema or dermatitis. Um, so you moisturize daily as often as needed. So this is just kind of like a daily moisturizer that you can use and it just really soaks into the skin real nice and this isn't like super thick or anything. The Flare Control Cream, uh, fast soothing relief from itching, inflammation, redness and rash and helps irritated skin. And our philosophy is simple, avoid irritants, always use the mildest ingredients. And then it says like no fragrance colors, dyes and a bunch of other chemicals. Um, so this is basically 1% hydrocortisone anti-itch cream. Um, I wonder if it's just hydrocortisone because that's, I would just buy hydrocortisone from the drugstore. Um, it looks like the main ingredient is just the hydrocortisone, which you can get even just the Target brand for really cheap. Got my Cordade, my hydrocortisone cream, my 1%, and I'm going to see if the ingredients are even any different. Okay, so basically they both have the 1% hydrocortisone. But all the inactive ingredients are totally different so so that's probably what makes this for extra sensitive and will help with the flare-ups a little bit more I'll put the link for this exoderm stuff below so anyways I hope that was helpful I know that there's a ton of other things that you can do um, these are the things that I used to do I mean I have bathed in baking soda oatmeal tomato juice like so many different things um, my parents used to get sulfur water for me, but hopefully some of those tips were helpful to you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.